Hey, what's up? My name is Lucas, and this is going to be a Minecraft Beta 1.8, as you can see in the bottom left. Uh, it's going to be a review on Beta 1.8. It was officially released this time. It's not the pre-release. So, um, yeah, hop into single player. As I already showed, you know, there's creative and survival and uh, generate structures. You know, I already created a world. Boobs. So we'll just hop into that here. Um, I already made a video on the pre-release, which is a lot of the same stuff. But um, since, you know, it is the full release, I thought it would be appropriate to make another one. And uh, we're going to hop into this world here. I just quickly made to show all the stuff. Let's quickly look around here. Take a nice little look around. Yeah, there's an NPC village. Nice little spot. I chose uh, all kinds of cool stuff here. All right, so first things first. Um, I'm going to show the whole running now. Um, he implemented this new thing, as you can see, I just did there. If you double tap the forward key, W, you'll actually run around. So you, can, you can spin around. This will deplete your hunger bar at the bottom right. Uh, this will deplete it pretty quickly here. Um, but it, when you're running, you can actually you know, super jump over stuff. Getting some frame rate issues. All right. Um, explain the GUI here. As you can see, um, we got the health bar. We got the hunger bar down there, which is jumping around. And we got my XP meter. I'll just quickly grab myself some food. Uh, steak. There we go. And you can uh, fill up your hunger bar when it's full. You will actually heal about half a heart every so often. And when it's empty, you'll actually start losing health. So you got to kind of keep an eye out on that. Something else. Let's get this done. Um, so that's running. Next part. This chest here is the first thing you can see here. When you open and close the chest, there's an animation, which is really cool. So um, this is all the new blocks, unnamed. Uh, that's silver fish, stone bricks, stone bricks. That's mossy stone bricks. This is cracked stone bricks. Mushrooms, iron bars, glass pane. Uh, we got these two. We don't really know what they are. They're just unnamed. Uh, vines, fence gates, brick stairs, and stone brick stairs. Um, I got these all laying out here, just so you can see, you know, kind of what they look like. Oh, this is pretty cool. These two are uh, iron bars and glass. We'll cover them later. Watermelon and vines. Uh, as you can see there. Um, also, we got new food. There's Raw pork chop. They retextured the skin. It used to kind of look like that. Now it's like this, which is actually you know what pork looks like. There's raw beef. It's turned into steak. We got chicken, cooked chicken, pumpkin seed to grow pumpkins. Uh, no longer do you have to kind of just jump around and find them. It's a renewable resource. We got melon seeds, the melon that comes off them, and melon slices. Now I'll quickly jump over to the consumable section of my little thing I created here. All right, so. Essentially, when you, you find the seeds by going to dungeons, or I believe if you find a pumpkin, you might be able to actually, you know, make it. But the, the good thing about these seeds is they are renewable. So what you do is you pop it down here, and it'll actually start growing this little, I guess, sprout here. And after a while, it'll just plop a pumpkin right next to it. Now, you can uh, pick this pumpkin up, and you'll see the sprout does not remove. What will happen is another one will grow and plop right next to it again. So it is renewable completely, so... You can just, you know, cut those down. Watermelon, a little different. Here are the seeds. You can find these in dungeons. And uh, when you chop down the watermelon, there you go. You just split into like six pieces. And you can om nom these. They heal, uh, I believe, one hunger piece. And it's the same kind of system. Uh, another cool thing, if you take one of the melon seeds, pop it in your inventory, you'll get, or sorry, melon slices, pop it in. You'll get a melon seed so you can just kind of repeat the cycle. As you can see, it starts off like that. So that's that. Um, Next, I'm going to cover the shrooms. <laughs> uh, mushrooms have been in for a while, as many of you know, but there's a new thing. There's, you know, I have a brown and red. If you right click it with bone meal, there you go. It'll actually grow in big mushrooms. They grow into big mushrooms, and you can actually destroy these blocks, and every so often they'll drop. There you see, dropped a little mushroom. It's pretty cool. So I'll just do another one here. This is a brown one. There's a really, really tall tower. So those are the mushrooms. Um, Another thing I want to show you here, um, the tables. Now, these are found in the NPC villages, which I'm going to cover later. But basically, actually, I'll just give myself the regions to make it. Uh, that and that. Actually, I'll give myself another one. There we go. So it used to be to make a table, you'd have to take one of these uh, wooden slabs and toss it on top of a fence and I'll make one of these here. And that just looked retarded. Like, it doesn't look like a friggin' table at all. So now, Notch uh, made it so you can put a pressure plate on it, and if you jump on the pressure plate, I could actually freaking jump. Oh, all right. Well, if you jump on the pressure plate, it doesn't make the whole. 
clicking sound that it would. Uh, so that's pretty good. And in the next part, I will be covering the new weapons. Woo. All right, so I'm back. And as you can see right there ahead of me, I'm not looking at them, but that's called an Enderman. They're the new mod. Um, this part, I'm going to be showing the new bow mechanics, which is where you can draw it back and you fire arrows really far. And the critical hit. So um, first things first, walk up to these Enderman guys here. And I'm going to... Yeah, I'll just put that away, actually. Now, they're usually passive. As you can see, I can walk up to him, jump around, you know, do whatever. But as soon as you look at his upper torso, he'll actually... He'll actually look at this guy. He'll actually focus on you, and he'll start charging you. Now, if you hold back the bow, he'll can charge it, and shoot it, and it takes only two arrows to kill these guys. All right, and um, critical hits. Um, if you're jumping and, and you hit an animal, you see those little stars tell for a second there. You'll actually get a critical hit, which does a lot more damage. Uh, now, as soon as you kill a mob or anything, it'll drop these little orbs. You can see one right there. Uh, and these orbs, these are ender pearls. But drop these little orbs. These are experience. Right there in the middle bar, every time you collect one, it just goes up a bit. And uh, I'm not quite sure what happens if you know you fill it up completely. But um, uh, I, I know it just keeps on kind of resetting. And uh, so yeah, the bow can now recharge. See, I'll just shoot there. Went pretty far, but it's like tap it. See, it doesn't go anywhere at all. And you can actually kind of hit yourself if you're running. Let's see, but uh, yeah, that's the new bow. And next we're gonna be covering the towns. All right, hey, I'm back. And this part, I'm gonna be covering towns. Uh, this is the town you can see from a little perch up here. I'll quickly zoom above it and give you a little overhead view. As you can see here, it is actually organized, kind of. Um, <laughs> it's not just a big clusterfuck of houses. It is, you know, it's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> so I'll quickly zoom back down here. And uh, we'll start off here. This is a blacksmith's hut. I believe that's the name. It's got a little lava pool, some uh, nice old furnaces. And you can actually come inside all these. And this one did have a table that kind of broke down. But you can see, these are randomly spawned NPC towns. There are a lot of glitches, as you can see right here. Um, but I mean, that is to expect when it's ge randomly generating a whole bunch of towns. Um, so we hop over here, another house, this is just a little tiny bitch house. Um, we got a well, these things are dangerous, don't jump in them, I have a video of me actually getting trapped in it, there's nothing you can do. I don't think there's anything at the bottom of them. Uh, another house right here, this is kind of like a library, it's got a workbench in it, tables. Yeah, so uh, all kinds of houses, I'll quickly, uh, it's pretty generic. Just that. Uh, we got this guard tower here. You come in there. You can come all the way up to the top here. Look around. Uh, that's a totally glitched in the ground house. Um, it's got these nice little uh, wall things. I can imagine these houses being really nice, or these towns being really nice if you just run across them in the game. Because you can obviously just collect all the resources and plunder their resources and rape their wives. I'll be covering that next part. Um, Some more little... Kind of looks like a residential area, more little houses, and oh, there's a creeper. Anybody? Hey, Hop down here. Uh, we got this a little house. Don't really know. A nice little patio. Great view. Fantastic. So yeah, that's basically it for these uh, towns. They're they spawn all over the place, and you know for the most part they all kind of use the same floor plan and just in different configurations. Um. So yeah, in the next part we will be covering the new biome generating system all right so now i'm going to be covering biome generation system um and you know the new features it has uh once again right near my little platform right there nice little space doesn't it but um, here i found a ravine uh these will spawn randomly they can be really long geez i'm popular skype shut up but um they uh they can get really 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 long and you know they cut through everything so uh yeah here's the one i found here See, it's not very long, but usually they will carry on longer. Uh, another cool feature is rivers. Now, I think there was, yeah, right here. You can see this, rather than being, you know, one of those randomly spawned Minecraft uh, ones, it's now a long, long, long river. And these do lead to lakes. There's one right here. And eventually they lead to oceans, which it's not just small bodies of water anymore. Uh, cool thing with the lakes is that they actually kind of, you know, concave in like a bowl shape. They used to be really random, you know, come up at spots, but now, you know, they're pretty, uh, they actually get pretty deep in the middle. Um, 
and uh, biomes are much larger now. So rather than just having a little swatch of desert, you'll have a huge desert now. This is just a little part of it, but uh, yeah, biomes are much larger, which is going to be nice, and especially for deserts and stuff like that, which should be a big new biome. This here is a swamp. Nice little atmospheric rain. That's nice. But um, typically for swamp biomes, it's going to be really shallow water all around. Trees will grow in the water, and every tree, for the most part, has these vines going down. Uh, you know, after a while, when they actually reach the ground completely, it does get looking pretty uh, spooky and ominous at nighttime. But yeah, swamp biome, as you can see right there. So yeah, that's it for the biome generation. In the next part, I will be showing the silverfish. All right, so another cool feature of this update is a little thing called silverfish. Now, this right here is some silverfish rock. It looks the same as normal rock would. I'm just show this one here. Looks the same as normal rock would, but it uh, has a little surprise that these will spawn, you know, around um, underground mine shafts. Actually, no, I don't think they, yeah, they'll spawn around uh, strongholds. I believe, you know, all the walls are, and they have a chance of spawning randomly in the world. So what happens uh, is these, when you mine one of these rocks, it'll actually release one of these little things. And these little guys look like stone porcupines. They're called silverfish. You can release a whole bunch of them here. But um, there, it is. there you go. And uh, the little bastards will chase you around, and you can ten kill them. Oh, and um, actually, if you release one, they'll turn silverfish blocks around them into silverfish. So I'll quickly hop out of here. Kind of a nuisance. Yeah, see? All the silverfish blocks around become aggravated and turn into silverfish. I uh, don't quite know how much damage they're doing. They don't seem to be doing any to me at the moment. I don't really know why. I know they do do damage, but... So yeah, that's silverfish. And uh, in the next part, I will be wrapping this all up. Alright, so that's basically everything for this update, Minecraft 1.8. Um, I covered everything from you know the blocks to the new biome generation system. One thing I didn't get to is uh, dun well two things. There's dungeons and there's abandoned mine shafts. Dungeons, you know, they have chests in them. I believe that's where you get watermelon seeds and silverfish are very common in there. Uh, they only spawn three per world, so they're a little you know they're a little scarce. So I didn't manage to find one. And there's uh, underground mine shafts, and quite frankly, I didn't really look around for one. But um, in those, once again, they have the chests, that's where you get watermelon seeds. And I believe that there are um, these little blue spiders. Well, I don't believe I know. There's these little blue spiders in there, and what they do is if they bite you, they'll actually poison you. Uh, they're the same kind of looking as normal spiders, but those are little blue. It, that's the name. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that's basically everything. If you guys like this video, you know, like and favorite. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Uh, you can leave a comment, a suggestion of which I should do next. Uh, Tips HD, he's my buddy. Go subscribe to him too. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's basically everything for this update. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all later.